I'm Brittany Kennedy, and this is Foursquare for third grade. The central focus of this lesson is for students to improve hand-eye coordination while learning to serve the ball with control and keep it inside the playing field and follow the directions of the game. The goal is to teach the skills of bouncing and striking using control and strategy to progress into a game of Foursquare. The NASPE standard I chose for this lesson is the physically literate individual applies knowledge of concepts, principles, strategies, and tactics related to movement and performance. A few of the skills and skill cues. Um, one is you need to hold the ball with the non-dominant hand and drop it. Allow one bounce and strike it with your dominant hand. Um, when you do an underhand serve, make sure your palm is open and your forearms out. Equipment needed, you need a standard bouncy ball. Um, you can use several different types. Um, and if you have to make a court, you can you know, make do with what you have, chalk, tape, poly spots, or even cones will do. So the game procedures is preferably you need five to six per group. Um, assign each student a square, and there will be a few students on the side near the square one waiting to go in. The game starts when student in square four allows the ball to bounce once and underhand serves to the student in square one. Once the student misses a ball, they are out and they will go to the end of the line and wait their turn. So this is a standard four square court. You see one, two, three, four. That's the way it's generally set up. And if you see here, the arrows, uh, rotation is generally one, two, three, four, just in that order. Four being the king spot that, that is your objective to get into. So you see here I have my students. They're the blue circles and the yellow circle is the um, ball. You see two students on the side waiting their turn to play. Um, this is how you would start a game with number four serving the ball. Now you see here in this slide, number four has, is serving the ball to number one. That's how the game starts always. Uh, number four always serves the ball to number one. After the ball served to number one, the number one person can then serve the ball anywhere. So three, four, or two. Once the ball served, it can be served anywhere, so this will continue until an error is made. Say number three was served the ball and has lost control of the ball and it went out of the court. Um, they are out at this point and number three will go to the end of the line. And as you see here, number three has gone to the end of the line, so number two will take number three spot. Number one will take number two spot, and the first person in line will take number one spot. Um, that's how we always rotate in, depending on where the positions are. Um, a few modifications you see here, um, to make it a little easier, you could play with a bigger ball. To make it a little harder, you could play with a smaller ball. Um, you could allow more bounces or not allow any bounces. You could do a chest pass or a um, bounce pass or whatever you see your students need help with. This is a really cool example. Um, they painted the court and did A, B, C, D. Um, you could add some interdisciplinary in there by spelling words and the students would have to go in order of the way the word is spelled or by color sequence. This is another interesting way. Every time a ball served, they have to name a boy's name or a book or a color or fruit, um, etc. So. Um, this game's pretty much endless. You can add it to many different things. Thank you for watching.